Good morning and welcome to Be A Man's Toys TV Okay, upon the request from Mr. Gavin Shins, today I'm going to do uh, slightly on how to do your own LED uh, for your display case Few days back, I'm sharing uh, with the fellow YouTubers of with the fellow friends right on how to improve the LED lighting inside your display that is basically by installing uh, aluminum angles but basically I just talked and I didn't show you guys so I'm just thinking why not today I will be doing a full how to create your own LED display in your shelf and basically this is my own method it might be different from a lot of people's but uh, it worked for me and I hope it will work for you so uh, let me just tell you today what I'm going to do okay if you look at over here right the LED strike is actually at the top as well and instead of comparing to this one, I already adjusted it this one, the LED strike is still at the top so I will be adjusting this LED strike so that it appear uh, the same using aluminum, aluminum angles and then uh, changing the effect on how it looks on the display this one, this two, plus this two so total there will be four that I'm going to do doing, uh, that I'll be doing that I will include an aluminum uh, angles on it so I will show you guys how I do the aluminum angles in a while so after that I'll be doing an installation on the LED strike so on here basically this is a 2 meter 2 meter uh, length of uh, display so I'm going to install LED over here so how I do the cabling how I do the wire, I mean basically wiring and how I plug it to the power source and, and uh, how I actually connect all the LED together and place it on top there, right? I'll be showing you guys very, very soon. So, hope you guys enjoy the videos. Do like and subscribe to us if you really enjoy the video. If not, it's okay. Perhaps next time. So, without further ado, let's start. <sighs> okay, let's start. This is basically the original aluminum angles. Basically, it's about, if not mistaken, it's about six meter long. Then you need to cut it using this. And then uh, after achieving the size that you want, then if there is some uh, rough end, then you just uh, uh, clean it up. And then you just spread it with the uh, paint that I have, I have over there. So I choose black color. You can choose any other color that suits to you. But be careful because uh, this is aluminum. So when you put paint on top of it, right, uh, the paint is easily removed. So let's start. So okay. So before you start this, right, on the aluminum strike itself, right, you need to calculate basically. You need to measure how long you need to cut. So this is pretty long. I mean, the original one is of six meter long. I don't think you can use all that at one single shot. So by hook or by hook, you still need to cut it. So I have actually do a mark over here. That I will be cutting from this angle. So let's see how it goes. Okay. So, oops. So let's start. That is basically the process of cutting the aluminum angles. So after you cut the aluminum angles, right, it's time to spread it with the uh, color, uh, the black color. So let me just put a camera zoom over there. I'll put this in. I'll put this in. This one because for time sake, I already uh, cut a few out. So to in total, I need about four. So, this is how it looks like. In matter of fact, you should put, be putting more newspaper. Lah. It's just that I use up all my newspaper that I had yesterday uh, on the uh, few aluminum angle that I have. So for paint, right, I'm just using this one. It's a normal brand that you can find in the market. This costs about 
7 ringgit plus, not really that expensive. Make sure you shake it well before you start spreading. Uh, typically, uh, we are advised to spread one by one, but I'm the kind of lazy people that I would like to spread all in one single shot. So, let's start. As I mentioned in yesterday videos, right, we don't need to spray on every single angle of it because it's only one uh, darker angle which is going to be faced uh, outside the display area. So I'll be spraying this part. The rest will be maintained at uh, the original color. So you just check whether there's any part which is still unsprayed. So it's like over there, I can see some. You just spread it in. Make sure when you spread, right, you spread in one single direction. So it's like here, here, and here, and here. So once you spread this right, you just maintain it there for about 30 minutes as per instruction. But normally, I will put it longer. So if there's sunlight right, I will normally put it about uh, one hour. If there's no sunlight, I will let it be for about two hours. Then I will start using it. So while I'm waiting for this to dry out right, uh, I will show you guys how I do the LED strike and how uh, this thing come about in terms of setting up the LED strikes. So again, be right back. Okay, so this is basically the LED setup. So this LED setup, right? Uh, first of all, I talk about the LED first. The LED actually or normally come in forms of five meters. And for my case, I only need two meters. So I cut it to two meters. So, um, where do you actually cut it? So let me just show you guys where you normally cut it. So if you look at LED strap, this is how the form it looks like, how it looks like. So until certain points, right, you'll be able to see something like this. So this is where you actually cut it. So at every single point, there will be one part where you can you can actually cut it. So it's here. So you can actually cut it here. So sometimes, right, you will be able to see a scissor sign. And sometimes you'll just be able to see this. So basically, this is where you cut it. So after cutting to the size that you need, what you do is there is a double-sided tip on top of it. And now normally I don't use this. This is a thin one, which is very nice. But if you stick on top of it, right, what happens is it will actually drop every now and then, which is very irritating. So what I do is I normally will remove this LED stripes. Uh, this sorry, this uh, this double-sided tape and uh, install with a third party or another uh, double-sided tape which is much more stickier. So I've been using this for the past two years already. Um, it never dropped since day one. Uh, next, once you have the LED stripes uh, uh, cut, you will need to connect it to a transformer. So basically this is a 2M transformer. So uh, how do you choose your transformer? Rules of thumbs, one meter goes to one M. So you need one M to power up one meters of LED stripe. So basically that's a rule of thumb. So if I have a two meters of uh, LED stripe over here, right? I'll need to get a two M uh, transformer. Previously for, actually for most of my uh, display LED, I'm using a five M. So the transformer is actually much more bigger. So for my case, for this particular case, I only need two meters. So I don't need to overpower myself with a five M transformer. So let me just, uh, explain a little bit about transformer. As I mentioned, rules of thumbs are uh, 2 meters, 2M, 5 meters, 5M. So, but 5M is basically the maximum you can go for 5 meters. Uh, people will ask me, what happens if I have a 6 meter of LED strike and I install it on the 5M? Will it still work? Yes, it will still work, but uh, the LED light might be slightly uh, not that bright as per compared to originals, and it might not be that long lasting for the LED as well. So, this is number one. So, what will be the best scenarios? If you have 5 meters or you have 4 meters, right? You buy a 5 meters, a uh, 5M transformer. That will be the best. Uh, you have extra sum for them. But uh, typically, I always use it to the maximum. And for the past 2 years, there's no problem. So, the 
LED strap will basically go to the transformer and transformer right can actually go to the uh, power socket that you can plug on the power wall directly or you can actually connect a switch in between so you can power on and off it and for my case for this particular case only I'm not going to use a switch but for the others that I have right most of them or all of them basically have a switch let me just show you guys how it looks like on my other uh, 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 LED systems so this is basically the switch which power on this whole 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 rack plus also the top here and then if you look at here there's also additional switches uh, but for this particular one that I'm going to install here right the cable I'm just going to hide until at the bottom so it will be wireless in a way you cannot see any wire line and then what happened is uh, it's actually all connected back to there so the, the moment when I open that light right the whole stretch of items over here will be powered on so this is basically what I plan for this uh, LED uh, installations so uh, this one I'm not going to use the aluminium angles uh, aluminium angles I'm going to use it uh, over here which will which I will do it in a while after the aluminium aluminium angles dry out so uh, brother Kevin hope you you are able to to see how the connection is maybe just let me resummarize again cut the LED into the size that you need uh, make sure that you cut it on the right uh, part or the right uh, portions then it will connect to a transformer transformer uh, powered basically on the amp how many amp you need goes on how many uh, LED the length of the LED that you need so rules of thumb is one meter uh, uh, one meter or 100 cm goes to need one amp of powers for the transformer then you can either after that connect to a switch or it can go to a power source directly so it's up to you so having to say so I will install this while waiting for the uh, aluminum angle to dry out then I'll be showing you guys how to install the aluminum angles this one I don't think I need to show you guys because it's quite straightforward just install the double sided kit and stick wherever you want over here and just turn on the light and, and it will work so I will also show you the outcome how it looks like after I install this lah. so as I mentioned again and many times in this uh, video I'll be right back so okay I've wait for the uh, aluminum angle to dry out already so basically this is how it looks like pretty neat right really much like professional but it's not <laughs> and so this is basically it so if you look at the element angles right the other side I don't really bother because it's going to stick on top anyway so inside part is basically the original color didn't change anything so uh, if you look at the light over here right if you look at uh, Captain Marvel's the LED light is actually from the top so it doesn't look very really that good you know some at certain point right it's actually not so suiting to the eyes so I'm going to modify both and change it to this by using these element angles having the light to spread toward the background rather than to the bottoms so uh, let's see how it let's see how it goes so first of all right let me just turn this off first first of all I'll need to stick it over here Hey, sorry, sorry, sorry. This one I haven't actually even stick the uh, stick the uh, double sided tip yet. So let me just stick this here. Uh, when you notice that there's no uh, there's no LED, there's no uh, uh, sticker around, right? you can just use back whatever you have. But this is the way of lazy people do lah. You can use a new one if you want. But I'm just lazy, so I just do it my way. So. I just stick this on, stick this on. I'll just stick this this way, and then remove the double. Oops, I think I do it wrongly. It's supposed to be the other way around. Okay, it's supposed to be this way because I'm going to stick it here. Uh, okay, let's see.
okay so when this is done this is the lazy way of people doing it okay it's thick and then now it's about this removing the double sided tape you can actually put lesser I have extra so I don't bother uh, so you just stick it on top of here and so it's not good if you don't want it to be so visible you can stick it on top here so once this is done already right once this is done already just turn on the light let's see the effect which is better what do you guys think so for me Stanley apparently now looks better because of this setup so uh, and actually from my angles when I'm standing right I can't actually see the aluminum angles because this is placed around let's say 100, 120 cm from the uh, floor size uh, from the floor 120 cm on uh, from the floor size so you can at least actually see the aluminum angles if you put it deep inside so this is the outcome of how Stanley looks like after I install the aluminum angles so I think that's it this is the whole actual process of making it doing it installing it LED stripes LED plus the uh, aluminum angles so hope you guys like the videos do subscribe to us again uh, and have a nice day Game. It's a game.